Hmm, the big question is what should I have for breakfast? How about having a fiesta by making breakfast enchiladas and a homemade ranchero sauce? Let's start with a little prep work first for the ranchero sauce. One onion, break out that trusty blade, do a little choppy choppy. Number two, the green pepper, carefully remove the seeds, wash it off, chop it up. The ranchero sauce does not have to be made the morning of, it can be made in advance and ready to go for that fiesta in the morning. Number three, red bell pepper, same steps as the green bell pepper. Step four, jalapeno pepper. Wash it, remove the internal white membrane and seeds, dice it up. And finally, step five, cilantro. Wash it, dry it, chop it up. Ranchero sauce prep work complete. Let's throw this ranchero sauce together. To a saucepan over medium to high heat, add one tablespoon or 15 milliliters of olive oil. Drop in the one full chopped yellow onion, half of a cup or 75 grams of green pepper, and half of a cup of red pepper, 75 grams. Stir it, mix it in with the oil, cook it on medium to high for five to six minutes until lightly brown. With one minute left of sauteing, skillfully mince two cloves of garlic, and then drop in the one diced jalapeno pepper. Give it a quick mix and add one teaspoon of chipotle chili powder, one teaspoon of cayenne red pepper, and one teaspoon of cumin. Stir and cook it over medium heat for one minute. Now it's time to add a 14.5 ounce can of diced tomatoes of the best brand out there, the Eat Gravy Be Happy brand. Who could possibly resist the smiley face? Dump it in. Mix it in, cook over medium heat for five minutes. Next add three tablespoons of chopped cilantro. Quickly mix in the cilantro and then pour in one cup or 250 milliliters of chicken broth. Bring it to a simmer, then turn the heat to low and reduce the liquid by about half. That's roughly gonna take about five to 10 minutes. And here you go, this is what it should look like. Now we're ready to move to the next step and give it a little bit of a blitz. You can blend this ranchero sauce as smooth or as chunky and thick as you like. I'm using a blender to do it. You could use a food processor or an immersion blender. I'm gonna shoot for a nice smooth sauce. Crank up that blender and let it do its thing. Dump it into a bowl. You can either serve it now on those enchiladas or put it into the fridge, save it for later. But check it out, look at that beautiful ranchero sauce. Now that the ranchero sauce is complete, let's put together the enchiladas. Get ready breakfast, here we come. Excuse me while I whip this potato out. Let's get it ready. Just a little tater, let's shred it. Pour a little oil into a saute pan. Uh, make it a lot of oil. Burner's on high, the oil's really hot. Drop in those taters, you wanna hear a big sizzle. Grab a spatula, pat the hash browns down, make sure it's nice and tight. Remove any stragglers from the sides. Give the hash browns a spank of pepper. Toss on some salt. Now what are you gonna do, spatula or no spatula? Stand back everyone, looks like he's going for the flip. No spatula it was, what a fantastic aerial display. And would you look at that golden brown beauty. Add some olive oil around the edges. Give it a shimmy or a shake to distribute that olive oil around. Cook this on medium to high for an additional few minutes until the bottom of the hash browns are nice and brown. Put it to the side and we'll break out the eggs for the next step. Crack six eggs into a high-sided mixing bowl. Grab a whisk and give the eggs a quick scramble. Crank the burner up to medium to high heat and generously butter the pan. And it's best to use a non-stick type fan. It'll make your life a whole lot easier while making the scrambled eggs. But drop them on in. You'll wanna work fast here. We're not making an omelet, we're making scrambled eggs and hence the name, grab a spatula and scramble. 
Shuffle them around, move them off the center, keep them off the sides. Spank a little pepper on these guys. Throw in a dash of salt, maybe one, maybe two, maybe three. You want these eggs to be a little bit runny, we'll cook them the remainder of the way through with the enchiladas. They should look like this, so plate it, put it to the side, and then we're ready to move on and throw everything together. For this step, we're gonna mix together the enchilada stuffing. You'll need a high-sided mixing bowl and just start throwing everything in. First off, the hash browns. Use a spoon or a fork and shred those potatoes up. Next up to bat, black beans, one can, washed and dumped in. The eggs, drop them in. All of them, don't forget any, they cost about $20 an egg. Break out the herbs. Some people in some countries like to call them herbs, like Herb, the guy that lives next door. Cilantro, one tablespoon. Here we go with some fromage. One cup, 75 grams shredded cheddar cheese. Half of a cup of spicy ranchero sauce. That's 125 milliliters, save the rest for later. And then we mix. This breakfast enchilada recipe calls for eight eight inch tortillas. I like to use flour tortillas. You can use corn, whatever you prefer. Fill the tortillas up, roll them up, and then place them into a nine by 13 buttered baking dish seam side down. Add the remaining portion of the ranchero sauce onto the top of the breakfast enchiladas. Top it with one cup, 75 grams of shredded cheddar cheese. The casserole is ready to be popped into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 Celsius for 15 to 20 minutes. And you can always make the enchilada stuffing and the ranchero sauce the day before, throw it all together the morning of, and then quickly pop it in the oven. Here it comes, let the fiesta begin. The smell of the enchiladas wafting through the air will definitely wake up any sleepy heads in the house. Garnish it with some cilantro, pop on a few black beans, and these enchiladas are ready to be devoured. Thanks for watching the Sauce and Gravy channel. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe on how to make breakfast enchiladas. Make sure to hit that like button, and if you like sauces, smash that subscribe button to learn new sauce making tips and techniques. If you're looking for additional breakfast recipes, check out this biscuit and gravy casserole.